Nuance and notes. Paris. Yeah, I was really looking forward to this Paris trip. This was the most excited I've been for a trip in a very long while. Uh, for a number of reasons, but everything just seemed to be coming together. And also the fact that I'd be, I'd be working on a project that I have fell in love with, right? Taking designs, <laughs> taking photos of designs on building facades. I knew Paris. I had been in Paris January 2020. And I knew, I knew Paris would have the designs that I'm looking for. And so right when I got there, I got there in the morning at 9 a.m. And then, uh, you know, got settled in by like a, by noon. And then I would I just started walking. Got a baguette, started walking. I ended up right off the bat just taking 115 <laughs> photos of designs just on my <laughs> the street my Airbnb was on. And I was like, okay, okay, relax. We got to go about this more systematically, right? And uh, let's let's start fresh tomorrow. Today, let's just let's just uh, be present and just enjoy that we're here in Paris, right? So I went to this cafe, and I was just like, oh my, oh my gosh, the aesthetics, the dark red, the the plants. Oh, the designs, the no TVs. Oh, this is so amazing, right? Um, then I go to another cafe and it'd be like, oh, this is sort of similar to the last place. Uh, but I was so excited that first day. Everybody was so dressed up. I was dressed up. I, I felt like I was in a city that appreciated my style or my taste and aesthetics but also like my taste and aesthetics was very like it found kind of a home in paris so that first day was amazing so second day this is how i approached it so i have um so i'd i'd walk every day i'd look at a map and then kind of think of a final destination right and then I would just walk towards it. And I would have uh, my, my personal phone in one pocket and then a work phone in the other pocket. And the last time I was in Paris, I, uh, I was on the train and someone stole my, my phone. I don't usually listen to music on, on commutes, but I was like, oh, I'm... Oh, I'm on vacation. I'm in Paris. And so I, I, I put my phone from my pocket to my coat pocket. And then I, I reached in my coat and got these uh, headphones. And so as I'm untangling the wires, which was maybe 30 seconds, right? And once I got them done, then I reached back into my coat pocket. And my phone's not there, right? So this time, when I'm in Paris, I'm, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to learn from past errors, right? So I'm, I'm walking the first day uh, that I'm dedicated to the designs. I went to the, I went near the Modern Art Museum. Uh, another day I ended up in the Louvre to escape the rain. People don't go to Paris for the weather. It rained every single day I was there and it was like, in the 40s or 50s. And so I'm outside taking these, these photos. And oh, I should say, the total number of photos I got, design photos from Paris, was 5,337. Or 5,313. One of those numbers. I don't remember. So each day I'm just kind of going at it, just trying to hit up kind of like different neighborhoods-ish. Um, and so I would just walk there. I would go to a cafe, have some espresso, do some writing, get, get excited for, for the day. And then I'd start walking. And then uh, for like two hours, then I would like take a little break, go to a cafe, sip some more espresso, do some writing, and kind of uh, go, go about it again. And I would do this every day, um, five or six days. 
besides the the Louvre, it started downpouring, and I just went in the Louvre just to seek shelter. I found this broken umbrella, and I'm holding it up. And I didn't have tickets, so I was standing in line while it's, like, downpouring. Uh, that was one experience. Uh, I went to the neighborhood of Montmartre. Mon- Mon- uh, I still can't pronounce it. It's one of my favorite neighborhoods. It's, like, up on this hill. Uh, very cool. Another time I went near the Eiffel Tower. Another day I was... What did I do another day? I don't know. I did a lot of walking in Paris and uh, we got a lot of photos, right? So um, overall in Paris, I would say something, if I'm thinking of like a duality, the way in London it seemed like posh or punk, I'd say Paris, you're either, you either feel loved or you feel lonely. Yeah, it's not a city you want to f- feel lonely in. <laughs> I will say that. Um, but I met some really cool people when I was there. And none of them were French, actually. I think that's something about the French. Uh, I never had any uh, bad encounters. I, I felt pretty, um, pretty, pretty good exchanges. Um, but it, like when you go out... It seems like people people won't go out of their way to like say hi to you or like see that you're you're the only one sitting at a cafe by yourself. No one's gonna like make any it's you know, it's, it's so it's kind of interesting. Uh yeah, the lonely lonely or loved. Um so I had all those photos. I enjoyed Paris. I consumed Bread, espresso, and wine. You know, just keep the diet really simple. Every day. <laughs> that was it. But, uh, so then what I did was on the plane ride home, I went through all the 5,000 plus photos and I picked my favorite ones or ones that I thought uh, could work, would be effective for the book. And so I got it down to 817. And then from there, I turned those 817 into the black and white kind of texturized images. This is when I got back from Paris. Um, And then I went from those to my favorite 252. And then we got it down to one. We wanted to cut in half and we got it down to like 127. So, um, but yeah, that was Paris. I should say on my last day in Paris, I was by the Notre Dame Cathedral and I was reading, oh, the Latin Quarter. I went, I spent a day in the Latin Quarter. That's another one. Um, So I went, the places I kind of went to were the Latin Quarter, uh, the Eiffel Tower area and just, and uh, the Louvre, Montmartre and the Museum of Modern Art. But I was about the Notre Dame Cathedral, my last full day, and I'm reading about the fire and the reconstruction, and then I get a text message from uh, one of our Buffalo Bills regulars who comes in to the restaurant bar that I'm at, and he sends me all, <laughs> he just like texts me expletives, and a news article that the place I work is on fire, and a firefighter, uh, I might have mentioned this in other um, recordings, but yeah, the firefighter uh, fell through a skylight, was in critical condition, and eventually died. And so that that was on my mind during this time in Paris, and I, I think it, um, when I got back, motivated me to put even more kind of heart and soul into the project. Um, even more so than I had been. And, and I went to the funeral of the firefighter. And it was, it was very powerful. Um, 
the fire department and the police department, they, they really know how to organize a funeral. And in, in a way that it, it makes you feel that their service wasn't a waste. You know, they were giving their self and their service to others and um, gratitude and just no one is a failure in the world who lightens the burden for others. And um, there are people out there doing that on a daily basis and it's beautiful. So my Paris experience was uh, uh, quite interesting. A lot of taking photos of designs, a lot of espresso, a lot of wine, a lot of bread, uh, a lot of walking, and uh, just a lot of being present.